I don't have a money to pay for coach. Uh, so I'm like, I had to get creative. And I, I, you know what? I just asked people, I was like, hey, can you coach me? I don't have money to pay you. Can you coach me? <laughs> you so did what a lot of successful people did, right? Yeah. Rather than you figure out how to do it, you you are shot in the time for success yeah. by looking at people who have done it before. So yeah. it's, a, it's a roadmap, it's a it's a mentor, or it's a, a, a book, something. Rather than you, if you fail, means that you need some mentoring. So rather than you trying to figure it out, shortcut that, you know? That, that's the next step, yeah. right? I got fifth, and then, but then I, I was getting like top 10, but I, I never got on the podium. Uh. So I need to figure out how to get from like, top fifth, six, seven, to first, second, and third. So that's when the mentor came in. I'm like, okay, I need, okay. Then I remembered when I was like 16, I'm like, man, I'm not winning. Not, I need to get a coach. Cause I saw some of the other kids have a coach and I'm like, but I don't have a money to pay for coach. Uh, so I'm like, I had to get creative. And I, I, you know what? I just asked people, I was like, hey, can you coach me? I don't have money to pay you. <laughs> he coached me. So I got my first coach. He says, yeah, but when you win or earn prize money, I get 10%. Deal. Oh, wow. He I said, said 14 at that time? Okay, no. That, okay, my first serious coach was, was, was uh, when I was eight, 17. 17, ah, uh, okay. And no one, and I've been through a few coaches. They wanted to charge me. Yeah. And this guy believed in me. He said, I, 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 I can make you a winner. Because by then, he already, you know, I, I was already starting to like be consistent, uh, right? And I think I had like a, a temporary, like not a coach, but like a little mentor, yeah. uh, like an older brother that, that's like telling me what to do. Yeah. But then I'm like, I really want to take, I want to win, not Manang. Yeah, yeah. So then I'm like, okay, I need a coach now. Yeah. So there you have it, guys. See, see the, the people who are the best in the world, they all have a coach. They all have a, they work, and the coach works on, on, on this, I mean business, then you yeah. work on this, on money, you work on this, right? Yeah, look, look, and a lot of people think, okay, I just need one coach. I, I have multiple coaches. That's Some of hack. them, and you're called mentors. Yeah. You know, I have multiple, he's one of my mentors. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and, and, you know, mentors can come in all different shapes and sizes. Yeah. He's my youngest mentor right oh. here. You're my youngest mentor. But we, we, we look the same age, but he looks he looks a lot younger because he's <laughs> he's vegan half his life. <laughs> I was plant I was plant based. Plant based. <laughs> I don't know that. I just maybe I, I stress less. Maybe my stress is not come yet. I, you know, yeah. we're building this business. I'll, I'm, I'm sure I'll have more stress. <laughs> I'll catch up for sure. Yeah. But yeah, I have multiple, and you know, there's a lot. There, there's one strategy that I share yeah. with my paid customers, but I'm gonna give it to you for free. How do you get a mentor? Yeah. A lot of people like, how do I even get a mentor of high value? First, there's two tips that I can give. One, kiss their ass. <laughs> hey man, I really admire what you've done. You know, I'm a big fan of your work. Yeah. Kiss ass. And second, Bribery. <laughs> We're in Malaysian. It should be second nature. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? <laughs> hey, man. <laughs> I, I, I understand that you're... Do, do you like sushi? Do you like Japanese? Yeah, yeah. Hey, have you been to this Japanese place? Blah, blah, blah. I would, can I buy you dinner? Yeah. Because I want to learn more. Plus, I've got a new, I've got a new plan and dream. Yeah. I would love a new set of eyes on this, on this plan. House, nice. house Friday night dinner at seven. Yeah. Done. Sounds like you're, sounds like you're thinking a girl. Out. <laughs> well, I mean, it's no different than dating. Got you gotta give say, value. Hey, you. Yeah, I know. Like, I like the way you look. Blah blah blah. Yeah. Compliment, and yeah. then ask her out. Right? Your sass and pride. <laughs> <laughs> is, that a, is, that, is that an American thing? Like, he says, 
like it says about, no, I mean, it's universal, yeah. right? I mean, I mean, people love compliments. Yeah. It, but make sure, obviously, and make it sure it comes be, from uh, a genuine place. Genuine, yes, yes. You know, I love, then I love what you, I love what you've done, and then you pick out a two or three things in particular to talk about. Then they know you did your homework. Yeah. Then they know you're talking. Then they know it's genuine. It's yeah. like, you know, hey, what, you know, I, I love how you, you structure your YouTube videos. The way you know I'm a real big fan of your finance series, yeah. blah blah. But then you know, okay, he's not just blowing hot air out my yeah, ass, yeah. right? I think that's so important. Like, you know, we got a tip from just like, by the way, he charges. He, he does talks for Intel, Google, Facebook. He did a lot, bunch of that. Salesforce, Salesforce. They booked me three times yeah, this yeah. year already. Wow. Salesforce is it sales teams. Yeah, and, and so here's the thing, you know. You want to shortcut your path to success, you got to be open to mentoring and you got to seek it. I mean, I mean, before you even find the mentor, you got to be open to it, right? You got to be open to the idea that someone's going to challenge your, your reality, someone's going to give you something that you don't know. You know, it's something you don't know and you don't know, right? That's yeah. that's the blind spots where the mentors can give you. Absolutely. And then oftentimes Absolutely. it's transformative. And then often, I agree with you, oftentimes where I get a level up in my, my life, whether it's uh, relationships, you know, whether it's in health, or whether it's in money, even cars, right? Driving and cars, it's oftentimes I have a mentor and, uh, you know, so that's the hack. A lot of people think on the exterior, like, I want to be successful, I want to be rich, but the upgrade is first here. You're going to upgrade your OS. Absolutely. But well, one guy shared with me that, that we are always operating 100% of the time. If your OS can do this much, you're always at this much. So you can't exert more. You can't work hard to get more success. You gotta change your OS. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. So I mean, for, I I keep it like no, no, some people don't know OS. Okay. So, yeah. Yeah. Some people. Okay. So, BBS. So, so, so belief system. Belief right? system. Think about it. Okay. Well, I, I think I think about this way too. You're you've got goal setting, which is which is kind of your map, right? Yeah. Your roadmap. Then then your mentor or coach is your guide. Yeah. It's your guide. So, and then the OS it could be your comp compass. Yeah, yeah. Right? Okay, maybe, maybe that's, yeah, that, that'd be, that's, that's a nice yeah, metaphor, nice yeah. Metaphor, yeah. So. yeah. You first need a roadmap. If you don't have a roadmap, you don't know which guy to look for. Because if you're going to, I don't know, if you're going to climb Machu Picchu, you find a different kind of mentor. Different. If you're going to climb, you know, Kilimanjaro, you're going to get yeah. a different mentor, right? So first you need the road. If you need to know what you want, yeah. then you're going to find a roadmap. Yeah. Then only you find the, the mentor, right? Yeah. yeah. My, my first mentor was my grandma. Huh. She's 97. Huh. And she told me this, I think I was like 10 or 11 or 12. I forgot, it's been a long time. Yeah. She said, Josiah, I give you one advice, it's this. Find your passion and figure a way to make a living out of that. That is so, that's so powerful. She was a music piano teacher I bet pretty for, good eight, for, for 75, 80 years. She, yeah, she was a great piano teacher. That was her life. She loved music, piano and voice and uh, music teacher, Man, but I mostly, got, yeah. I got goosebumps when yeah. you say that because I, so many people trade money for passion. Yeah, they trade money for passion. It's like, I'd rather get paid 20, 30% of what I would do for money and not being passionate about. I'd rather pay, get paid a fraction of it for doing what I truly yeah. love. Yeah. Because it doesn't feel like work, I will make a lot more in the long run. Yeah. But put the money aside. Like, if you look yeah. at your life, right? I, I just how I think, right? Your life. Yeah. It's not just about money, it's about it's not. how colorful has it been, right? Experiences how much yeah. and relationships. Yeah. For me, it, you've got all the experiences and all the quality relationships combined. A rich man. You're a really wealthy person. Yeah. Really wealthy. Yeah. 